Mastering Shadowing Exercises, The Magic of Playback Speed. Hello learners, welcome to our session today. We're diving deep into the realm of accent reduction and we're specifically focusing on shadowing exercises. Today, we'll explore how to effectively use the playback speed feature in your language learning journey. Adjusting the playback speed can be a game-changing tool when it comes to mastering a new accent, and we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Have you ever thought about the speed at which you listen to the English language? When we adjust the playback speed of the audio we're listening to, we're effectively controlling the pace of our learning. Slowing down the speed can help us capture the nuances of pronunciation and intonation that are essential to reducing our accent. Conversely, speeding up can challenge us to match the fluency and rhythm of native speakers. Playing with the speed allows us to tailor the learning experience to our current level and specific needs. Most of the media players, be it for audio or video, have a feature to adjust the playback speed. While the exact steps to change the speed may vary, the common process is to navigate to the settings or options menu and find the playback or speed settings. You can usually choose to slow down or speed up the content by percentages. Remember, it's not about listening at the normal speed. It's about finding the speed that best suits your learning at the moment. For beginners, it's generally beneficial to start slow. Slowing down the audio can help you distinguish sounds that you might otherwise miss at normal speed. You can focus on the pronunciation of each word, the rhythm of sentences, and even the smallest pauses. Starting slow gives you the opportunity to thoroughly understand and mimic the accent. Once you've become comfortable with the slower speed, it's time to gradually increase it. This incremental progression simulates the actual pace of native English speakers. The goal is to slowly close the gap between your current pronunciation speed and the speed of a native speaker. Now comes the fun part. Once you're comfortable at the normal speed, it's time to challenge yourself. Try increasing the speed slightly above the normal. It might sound strange and be difficult at first, but this can actually help improve your listening skills and fluency. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. That's it for today, folks. We hope this guide on how to utilize the playback speed when practicing shadowing exercises has been insightful and useful. By controlling the speed, you are in the driver's seat of your language learning journey. Go ahead and give it a try. And remember to be patient with yourself. Every small improvement is a step closer to mastering your English accent. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.